ऑनरेबल रक्षा राज्य मंत्री श्री डॉक्टर सुभाष भामरे जी जनरल बिपिन रावत चीफ ऑफ द आर्मी स्टाफ लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल सुब्राटा शाह फॉर्मर डेप्यूटी चीफ ऑफ द आर्मी स्टाफ डॉक्टर संजय बारू हु गेव दिस वेरी एनकरेजिंग ओपनिंग एड्रेस थैंक यू डॉक्टर बारू श्री जयंत पाटिल सीनियर मेम्बर्स ऑफ द आर्म फोर्सेज Uh, distinguished invitees ladies and gentlemen at the outset i should really congratulate general bipin rawat and the entire leadership of the indian army and active facilitators fiki and defense aviation post for conceptualizing this event that gathers the users that is the indian army the industry and academia under one platform over the last couple of years i have personally witnessed the passion with which lieutenant general saha has uh, spearheaded the slew of initiatives to actively engage with the indian industry especially during his tenure as deputy chief pns as well as post retirement i am made to believe that over 19 army industry interactions seminars were held across various cities with active participation from about close to 1900 large medium and small companies from across the nation and through this platform you further plan to connect users industry academia in 6 to 7 cities over the next few weeks this is indeed very commendable i am very sure that such mobilization of experts from industry and academia by the army will go in a long way in modernizing our armed forces and equip them with the best in class weaponry and state of art technology military modernization as dr sanjay baru talked about is a continuous process that is essential to ensure india's defense preparedness and in indian army uses a variety of high technology and equipments to help maintain a winning edge for the armed forces the strength of a country's military capabilities have been a key barometer to measure the success and strength of its economy most developed countries in the world today have a strong defense manufacturing industry as india aspires to become a fully developed country in the next 5 to 10 years we expect our military capabilities will also grow exponentially because of which our country will gain in global respect standing and stature greater involvement of the indian industry will not only help in realizing the indigenization plans of the indian army but also leverage inherent capabilities of indian industry towards building modern and best in class weapon systems to strengthen our forces the emphasis on domestic manufacturing indigenization has already started to result in increased private sector investments in defense production as a result many private sector companies have responded to the government's make in india call making front end investments in setting of state of the art manufacturing facilities for a wide range of defense items which could rapidly reduce our dependence on imports and more than just setting up manufacturing facilities many companies have invested in talent technology and manpower to make this happen just to give you an example of our own group kalyani group our flagship company bharat forge over the last 4 to 5 years we have been able to successfully design develop and manufacture five different artillery platforms within our company one of our artillery platform the advanced stored artillery gun system atax which was developed jointly with drdo has registered a world re world record clocking 48 kilometers firing range with very high consistency and accuracy and this was recent in the recently concluded trials at pokhran 
We have also been able to successfully test fire our own designed gun, the Bharat 52, 155mm 52 caliber, towed artillery designed and developed entirely by Bharat Forge. And I should particularly em emphasize the active role of academia that has been critical to our success. We were initially helped by experts from Cranfield University in the UK. Cranfield University, as many of you in the services would know, is the center of uh, uh, UK's design and development activity for the military. And they helped us in establishing critical design capabilities and equipping our core group of engineers with the know-how and know-why behind functioning of the artillery systems. By April 2018, we will also offer our own indigenous version of the Kalyani ultralight Hovitzer, 155 millimeter, 39 caliber, at a much lower cost and completely indigenized, 100% manufactured within India. Developed and manufactured under the IDDM category using titanium and high strength aluminum with a targeted weight of four and a half tons. We are also developing smart ammunition for artillery shells. I'm very sure that in a short span of time, we will position ourselves as the leading artillery solution provider to the world. And our dream is India in the next 10 years should become the largest manufacturer and exporter of these kind of weapon platforms around the world rather than an importer. Five years ago, we established the Kalyani Center for Technology and Innovation in Pune, and thereafter in Hyderabad and Bangalore. Primary research establishments within our group working largely on developing futuristic products and process capabilities within our group. We call it a mini university within our group, which provides a platform for our engineers, technicians, employees to equip themselves with the latest advancements in technology and products and contribute by working on challenging assignments and projects. All the three KCTI centers actively engage with academia, all the IITs in the country and abroad. As a result, we have been able to make significant strides in building several futuristic technical capabilities within our group. We have now produced our first small jet engine, which has created which have created a group of engineers having expertise in turbine technology. This is a 40 kilogram thrust engine. We are now working on 120 kilogram, and by next year we will have a 400 kilogram thrust engine, critical for cruise missiles. In Hyderabad, in our center, focused on developing tactical systems and controls, we shall soon be testing a sophisticated radar-based electronic platform for guiding ammunition sen sensors. This is a seeker type system for uh, ammunition guidance. This has provide us, provided us the confidence to claim that we shall be able to offer solutions to some of the problems cited in the compendium released by the Army Design Bureau, like the mobility of guns in the mountains, dispersion of artillery shells, metallurgy for helicopter and main gearbox, all-terrain ground vehicles, integrated command post vehicles, and several others. At this juncture, I would like to emphasize that it is very important that the users, the Indian Army, Navy, Air Force, also keep themselves actively engaged with the capabilities being developed by companies in India within the private sector. There should be a seamless interaction between companies, users, research establishments, academia, in order to effectively fill the voids existing. This effort of the Army Design Bureau in enlisting the problem statements, encouraging industry to offer their solutions, capabilities, is an effort in this direction. Having several medium-term, long-term benefits in building a coherent defense manufacturing ecosystem in India and critical to enabling India to win its wars with Indian solutions. Achieving these objectives will require all stakeholders to closely work together through intense networking and synergizing their capabilities. 
While cross-fertilization of knowledge and information has already begun, we expect it to gather faster momentum in the years ahead. I'm very grateful that FIKI has organized this seminar in such a wonderful manner, and very grateful that I had the opportunity to come here and put my thoughts in front of you. I wish this seminar great success, and I'm sure that your deliberations will go a long way in country achieving significant self-reliance in this critical sector of the country.